I should be really careful. I was also myself guilty of a truncated understanding of that passage. The other thing we know about God's character is God is good, right? He is good. And you mentioned Ephesians 2.10, where we are created for good works, right? And yet you don't stop at just good works of evangelism or good works of kingdom service. You tell us in the book that those good works also include actual work, putting it down the labor, right? Explain that to us. Yeah, I should be really careful. I was also myself guilty of a truncated understanding of that passage. I've known Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 since I was probably five years old. Um, and that passage uh, about that we are made in Christ Jesus, uh, we are his workmanship created to do good work. There is just a sort of general instinct that would tell us made to do general acts of service, of, mm -hmm. of ministry, acts of mercy. Um, and I have no problem with it. Obviously, that sounds like a great thing. The problem is that the passage actually says, ergois agathois is the Greek, which is literally translated about our vocational work. The context in which those words are used in Greek were people that had a job. Now, I don't think there's any reason to limit the interpretation so as it to be exclusionary of acts of service and charity sure. and hospitality and other things of that nature. But the passage is a reference to, that we are created to do work, to do productive activity, not merely charitable activity. And this, to me, allows us to have a much fuller kingdom view of such beautiful verses like Ephesians 2.10. Yeah. I'm struck by the fact that even in the carrying out of the Great Commission, so much of that practically looks like day-to-day -day vocation as well. Um, first of all, we're called to be evangelists wherever we are. If we're in the workplace or we're in the soccer field with our kids or we're in the church, wherever we are, we're supposed to be modeling Christ to the world. world. But so much of the evangelism work that goes on in the world must be supported by this real vocation, right? Missions don't happen if there aren't people to support mission. So I think that are that those things are just intricately tied together. One of the things I learned from you is that the Hebrew word that is translated to work and worship, those are the same, the same root. How does that work? Well, it, it works that the Hebrew scriptures uses the word avodah uh, many, many times. And, and the, particularly the Hebrew prefix avo, because it can be used in noun or verb or adjective form. Uh, but you are exactly right. To work to worship or to serve. And that was another one that was added in my exegetical study was the book of Joshua. One of my favorite passages mm. was always choose this day whom you will serve. Mm. And the word is avodah. Six days thou shalt work and do all thy labor. Avodah. Uh, God put us in the garden to work. Genesis 2.15 is avodah. Uh, and there are countless verses that also refer to worship. And that, the exact grammatical word is the same, mm. ought to be a profound theological point. This episode of Rapid Response was brought to you by CTC Math. Visit them at ctcmath.com today.